what's going on guys welcome back to my channel here we are again with another little quick video you know we've been going through some tough times with this so-called virus going around you know so it's making everything real hard you know any car shows or even everybody meeting up so i guess import face off said that we're gonna you know have have their show so the 31st of this month which is what is it like nine days something like that seven days something like that i mean probably be sooner by the time i upload this video and i decided to you know try to make it out there you know i ended up getting the wheels so the crx looks good you know so I was debating on getting the car aligned because you know, one of you guys on YouTube here recommended the the, the new innovated traction bar, which actually mounts differently, so it sticks sticks it up, you know. Because right now with the with the old one, it that's the first thing that always scrapes every time you go into a driveway because that's that's like it's right at the nose, so it doesn't give a chance for the wheels to hit the the curve and push it up. So that's the first thing that hits every time. So, you know, I did, I wanted to get it line and, but you know, I was still, you know, undecided because, you know, it's like, it was like $370, something like that. So, you know, it was one of those things. Do I really need it? Cause you know, I don't want to be wasting more money than I need to, you know, especially since I've already got that one. And then, so, you know, with this virus, nobody's doing anything. So, you know, I wasn't too worried about it. I'm not driving the car around. So, you know, I said, what the heck? And I ended up pulling the trigger and ordered myself the new innovated mount, you know, so it tucks. So it should, it should, you know, get rid of those peaks, those nasty peaks, you know, that the eBay one has because it sits so low. This one mounts on the frame, so it mounts differently. So, you know, it should help entering any driveway so let me open this thing up and see what we got out of this. So you know, I'm, I'm a little excited because Import Face Off announced that we're gonna have a show here in Tulsa, Arkansas. So I'm going to try to make it out there. So my goal is, you know, it's about a week away. So my goal right now is to get it aligned and try to make it out there, you know, maybe run into somebody out there that, that has seen my videos, you know. You know, I'm, I hope I'm inspiring people. You know, I don't have much subscribers yet. And you know, it's a process. And you know, I'm not the best video maker or anything. And you know, with more people following me, it's more of an encouragement, motivation. And you know, I keep making videos and get better. Pretty soon, you know, we'll have good quality videos. You know, it'll be more of a, a, a habit to make good videos than just, you know, than just making shitty videos because I don't do it that often because sometimes, you know, well, I do get real busy, you know, I, I detail, so it's my time to shine right now with all this good weather. You know, it's been a little a little weird with, with what's going around because people, some people are, are tripped out about it. Other people don't care. But yeah, you know, it's life. Nothing's ever gonna be perfect. And here it is. Oh, baby. Nothing like some brand new parts. This thing is crazy. So I guess during shipping or something, it got some nicks. So I'll probably 
contact the manufacturer and see if they give me a few bucks off just because I'm going to have to paint this now because it's all chipped up. You know, it sucks, you know, like I said, nothing's ever perfect, but if they refund me a few bucks for this, you know, I'll be all right. I'm not dying over it. You know, it sucks, you buy a new part and you get little problems like this. All in all, this thing feels real robust. It really feels solid. So I'm actually excited to have it on there, you know. And, you know, now you could actually lift your, your car with this too. So, you know, that's, that's definitely a plus because a lot of times it's hard to find a spot where to jack it up from and then that's the centerpiece now. So if they've made this real strong, that's definitely a plus. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube had trouble installing this part. Apparently it hits their fork of their suspension. So we'll see if, if I could get it on there without doing that. A lot of what people ended up doing was just shaving the side of it. I'm not sure if it was one of their, I mean, it is a thick piece. So it might've just been a poor design. So we'll see what I'm gonna try to, cause I saw a guy, what he did was kind of lower it and let the suspension settle down instead of being in an awkward position and then it fit better. So that's probably what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to do it, you know, without having the wheel stretched down. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. So I just emailed the guys back for this part to see if they refund me 20 bucks or something. Cause I got this bed liner paint. I'm not worried about it. I'm not gonna waste more time. And you know, it's not damage, damage. It's just a bunch of little chips on the paint. You guys can see that, you know, it's nothing that's really gonna kill me. So what I'll do is just respray it and make it look fresh again. You know, it's not, it's not the end of the world. Shit happens. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, just use that bed liner paint, respray it all so it looks fresh again, let it dry, and then I'll install it. So let me do that real quick. That way it dries all up. Like I said, guys, this ain't the end of the world. So, you know, I'm not gonna sweat it. And sit here and waste time trying to get a new one. Just little things that happen in life, you know? Nothing's ever perfect. You know, I painted that, that traction bar yesterday. And then this morning I just got back from the junkyard. You know, luckily I got there before it started raining. And the reason for me going to the junkyard was that I didn't have the OEM bolts to bolt down the traction bar. I got the traction bar here. Looks good. It's hard to see in here. So right now I'm, what I'm doing is trying to see if they're gonna bolt down if because they feel a little long. So I'm gonna get the impact gun and see if you know they bolt down pretty good. So I marked it down to where pretty much bolted down. So I'm gonna see if it fits the traction bar now. And there's the line. And it doesn't come out on the other side, so it looks like it's probably gonna work for me. It just felt a little odd because they were real long, you know. So all these screws are all real dirty, old. So what I'm gonna do now is just clean them up. Try to get them clean. That way they don't look all nasty. Definitely not new, but better. So these two screws, looks like they've been dinged. Looks like they hit them or they were probably jacking the car up through, the, through here. So it kind of smashed them down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grind them, grind them smooth, get rid of that little lip they got.
cool. Now they're nice and clean. A little bit of rustoleum. Like new. This this paint is cheap, so it's probably gonna peel off, you know, when I bolt them down. But I'm more worried about the top part than the sides because the si like on the other ones that I grind the top, you know, I'm just worried about that top being co covered. The sides be all right. All right, guys. So, so this job is pretty straightforward. All I gotta do is remove the three, the three screws from right here where the where the OEM tow hook goes on each side, and then basically remove the arm from the back, which is one screw. I'm not sure really what was the problem people were running into. I mean, if you could see, it's pretty much angle perfect with the with the bolts where the screws go. So I don't know what people been really, you know, dealing with. I mean, I haven't I haven't bolted on the the actual traction bar. So we'll see if that, you know, changes the position in it or something. So we'll see. Let me let me get the other the other side taken off and then we can lower this this old traction bar. So I pretty much got the two arms disconnected from the lower control arms. So now I, all I gotta do is get rid of those four or those six screws and the traction bar should come down. So it should, you know, pretty easy job. Nothing too complicated. I mean, the OEM one, I think it's a little bit more of a pain in the ass to remove because it's just so much bigger and it's been sitting there for years, you know. But all in all, I don't think it's such a crazy job. Anybody could do this. So there it is, traction bars out. Here we have it. Nothing like a good old eBay traction bar. You know what I really hate about these things is that they, they mount on here and if you can see, there's still paint stuck from my engine bay. So now, deep in there, if you guys can see, all the paint, you know, pretty much came right off of that, that part, you know, the same on that side. So that's what really sucks about these things too. You know, luckily this one mounts on the bottom, so that's definitely a plus. I don't know why they they just didn't invent this one, you know, from the get-go. It should have been the first design they ever made. But you know, everything's about making money. You can't make everything perfect the first time, because if not, you won't have another product in a few months. It's typically how it always goes. But yeah, all in all though, I'm about ready to slap this bad boy in. Also, another thing, let me know if you guys are interested maybe i could raffle this out you know i'll probably reinforce it and put another sheet of metal that way you guys can screw it on the side you know building a car ain't cheap and i know you know 100 bucks or whatever is a help because i mean that's what these go for so i could reinforce it put another little little piece right here so it could be bolted down where the oem one goes and you know, like I said, I, I did re-weld all these. So it's all welded up in there. So it's nice and reinforced so it won't break. And I think with those two side pieces, I think it should be better. So let me know if you guys are interested in me raffling this. I'll, you know, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or anything, you know, I'll raffle, I'll raffle it out there. So, you know, if you guys see this video and you know somebody that wants it, share it, you know. If you don't yet, follow me on Instagram. I'll post the link on the descriptions. All right. 
right, so I guess the freaking camera stopped recording. Probably in the middle of me bolting it down. I mean, it's nothing too crazy, like I said before. This is pretty easy. All I had to do was bolt down one and two, and then same on the other side. But man, I actually do like the look of this. It almost looks like it belongs there. The other one just look odd, you know, just sticking out. So basically the other one was just sticking out right here. You know, I, you know, this part is still pretty low, but you know, the other piece was just sticking out right here. So this actually has kind of like a slight angle, so it might help a little bit, but I'm still thinking it might hit some places every once in a while I mean my car's not always slammed too so you know that should be that should help out but you guys can see the headers are sticking down so much so much lower you know nice nice old things is all it already got you know it's, it's gonna happen especially in shitty train tracks that's where I got this one I actually did this like a few days after I get I got the pipes but all in all it's looking good so now let me just hook up the little arms and see if we're gonna have any trouble I don't think we will but let's see what happens all right I don't know if you guys could see that this screw is right underneath the axle so what I did was I slid it on the piece on the arm already and then slide it in place so that's the first screw I put in so, if, so basically basically what I did is put it on and then slide in place that way it clears the axle and I don't have to remove none of the none of the arms here or anything or the axle or anything so just put it in first and then slide into place so now I got them in here you know and now I'm not gonna tighten them down until I have everything put together Right now I just gotta stretch it out and make it make a reach. And you see this is the cool design about this one. That I guess they made this little piece here. The part that you control like in the old one, you have to spin the pipe. But this one since it's you know solid all the way back. So they made this nice little design so you just spin this. So this was pretty nice. Now let me tighten the screws in the back and then I'll tighten these down. Alright guys, so moment of truth. So now I'm going to use the traction bar as a lift point. I'm putting this wood on there because uh you know you guys seen that I painted it so it's still got to be fresh and then if I just put the straight jack it's gonna scrape it right off for sure so what I'm gonna do is just jack it up and see how it goes And there it is it actually does a pretty good job I mean it feels a little like it bows a little bit but it's nothing crazy I'm not gonna be jacking it up all the time I mean every once in a while I'll probably do that just so I could get the jack stands in there so I think it should do good I'm really liking the look of this this thing turned out pretty darn good let's lower it down and See how it looks. Well, I guess I have a problem. <laughs> the wood got stuck underneath. <laughs> Let me see if I could just lift it back up. Oh goodness. 
I didn't think about it. And now the wood's stuck underneath. So now it's gonna rip up, rip off my paint if I just pull it out. What I'm gonna do is just jack it up and throw another piece of wood under the wheel. That way I could pull it off and then I could just roll off of that. Freaking crap. <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think it was gonna sit that low. Money. Money, money, money. Now let me just push the car off of the wood and see how it looks. It actually looks like it's gonna clear more often. Yeah, it almost, I do feel like it did raise it up a lot. I mean, I should have taken a before and after picture, which I didn't, typically how it goes. So like I said, guys, right now what I'm trying to do is get this thing ready to take it to Tulsa, Oklahoma for import face-off. So if anybody's local from there, Come say what's up. Like I said, you know, I'm not the best YouTuber, but you know, with the power of you guys, anything's po possible. You know, I'll get better and better as I go. All right, guys, it's a rainy day, so it's not much I could do. I can't take it to the shop and get in line because I really don't want to have this car in, in the rain. You know, I have no wipers. No AC, and you know these old school Hondas, they like to fog up. So that would be definitely a big problem if it happens on a rainy day. So what I'm gonna do now is end the video here, guys. I appreciate everybody watching. And like I said, if you guys are interested in that traction bar, comment below and let me know if you guys are interested, and then I'll throw it on Instagram, you know, for some follows, and I'll give it away to a lucky winner. So I appreciate everybody watching. Please subscribe, like, share, help me out and then I'll be helping you guys out during you know with a little bit of my knowledge so I'll talk to you guys later peace